Alright guys, my name is Fish and welcome back to my Hearts of Iron 4 Waking the Tiger Germany speedrun. In my last two videos we were blocked out of the um, English channel. I've since then gone back and looked at uh, what I did wrong and I think I know what I did. So to catch you up on um, this particular save, we fabricated um, a few military factories and then now I'm mostly going for refineries. As you can see I've already gotten France. I sacked France. So I started off, we got Poland. I think I got 21,000 uh, equipment from Poland. That's that's pretty good. Came over, sacked France, and this time I got the tanks from them and I got a few airplanes and I think I got these tanks after I did Case Anton and then as you can see uh, Vichy France is now incorporated so after Case Anton I got the fleet and this huge battle erupted in the Mediterranean the French fleet was trapped in here and I said oh no I'm not going to be able to cross the channel but what ended up happening was as you can see there's 98 ships down here England took all their ships from the channel and circled it around down here so when I had been successful previously when I wasn't recording videos in my own time um, it's because I had tied the English fleet up here that's what was happening so now I've got naval superiority in the English channel here all I need to do is sack off a few of these subs. Got all my air force up here. This battle is taking place here, so I moved over some of my planes. As you can see, these dotted lines tell you the range. So um, these planes, when they were over here in Pas de Calais, could not make this battle. But now they're up in there, and they're doing work. So there's this massive battle erupting. And as you can see, there's only enemy ships present, five, and then my 24 ships. We've got approximately eight days for Guderian to get across. So what I'm going to do is, <coughs> after you get Vichy France, basically you have to deal with the partisans. So I have von Witzelbahn, or no, sorry, von Weich. Uh, quickly go through and to quell the, the partisans. And then I also had Kurt Student. But now I'm going to need Kurt Student for the crossing. So what I'm going to do here, and I am going to get a lot of partisan activity. The resistance is going to grow after I do this, but you can see I, I take off, we use this garrison area tool, and then I take off all the other different missions that they have here and I just do attempt to lower resistance and since my resistance is starting pretty low I'm hoping there's not a lot but there there probably will be okay so we took Poland we took France I participated in the Spanish Civil War and what I did is I took uh, von Weich Witzelbin I took uh, von Witzelbin's uh, like a mountain brigade and two of these excellent troops I went through, uh, took Barcelona and then took Madrid and then, who is it, Spain, Franco Spain, Nationalist Spain won. So what I thought w I was going to be able to do was after, after the Spanish Civil War was over I thought that my plan was to have Franco attack Gibraltar and then I could take the French fleet around. Well that never happened because Apparently, Franco's not interested in coming into my faction. <coughs> he was only interested when they were losing the war um, to the Republic of Spain or whatever it was. So they didn't participate in the French fight. Of course, I got uh, Italy into the fight, and that helps because it ties up all the troops right here. So Franco's staying neutral, as he did historically. I'm on Iron Man right now. This is a historic... Um, AI 
We're all lined up here. What did happen, which was surprising but good, was Kingdom of uh, Hungary came into the fold. They gave me some troops. I've got Rommel down here. They're lined up. So that's really good because it extended this front. So now I think I could just walk into Prague. There's no one in front of these guys right here. They're just going to walk in. So that's going to be quite an easy win for me. And then it also extended the front over here in Yugoslavia. That's going to be a little trickier, but we're going to just drive. This guy can just walk straight to Belgrade. So we'll see when that war kicks off. Let's run this a little bit. Hoping this doesn't take too long. And I'm hoping I get all their subs. And then we can cross. And there, one of the reasons why I have two fleets here is one is going to break off and get to be a convoy escort. Let's see what this is. There's nothing I can do about that. I am growing rubber plantations in Madagascar. Hoping that pays off. The rest of my political power, I'm pretty much going to save uh, to get Rommel. Need Rommel for Russia, for sure. Which doesn't really make sense, because he never was in Russia, but that's okay. Run a bit. Okay, I'm going to delete their plans. Because they're going to cross too. I think that uh, Guderian's forces can do this by themselves, but I'm not sure. And as you can see with Germany, you can only cross 10 divisions here until you upgrade your research. And uh, after you get uh, Operation Wesserbung, this is like a 100% rate to uh, getting landing craft. So we're over here at transport ships. It's not very good. So we can only do 10. But you'll see what happens here. I th I'm almost positive we're going to get across this time, guys. Oh, and to catch you up on the... I went uh, around Maginot, war with France, straight to Army Innovations, so that I could get um, Rommel, and then to the four-year plan so we could build more construction. Okay, is this done yet? More stuff popping up. I don't want another fleet popping up. I want these guys to die, and then I want to get across right away. Is he ready? Okay. The time has come. I'm going to have the Kriegs. Wow, they are really veteran. Let's see who's involved here. I think I can just get across, but I'm not sure. the smaller force to do that. Good student. Getting lined up, ready to go across. And we lost that massive battle. Looks like I lost all my ships. Okay, the time is now. I don't want these guys circling back around. Uh, we're going to launch. only four ships present. We should be able to get across that easily. Come on, Guderian. There we go. They're hitting them. Trying to stop. Okay. Looks like they're going to make it. Go across there. They keep on coming in. They got caught out for a second. Come on, man. Perfect. All right. Now, you can see they can't get across. That's because they need a port. This port is actually in this square right here. I go for this because it's a shorter distance. I don't have to go around there. Okay. Now you're going to see what happens here. There we go. Now 
these guys can move across. And these guys can move across. We want to do it fast. Ah, I didn't give him the right mission. Okay. is I'm holding these guys here while I insert them. If this guy can get up to Liverpool. Good. Maybe this guy can get up to Newcastle. Let's see what happens. Navy experience. Let me deal with that real quick. These are going to go into Von Witzelben. Von Weish. I keep calling Von Witzelben. I don't know why. I'll help with the resistance there. And I'm going to upgrade a ship. Schnornhorst class. The guns matter the most to me at least. And I'll tell you why. When it's... what. They're doing the calculations in the uh, naval attacks. What it calculates first, who's going to win basically, is the naval firepower. So if you have a bunch of destroyers against a battleship, the battleship would always win. The destroyers, I guess you could think of it, can't pierce the battleship's armor. And then the naval firepower of the battleship will obviously pierce the armor of the destroyers. So what I go for first is the guns on the battleships, because that's what's going to win the, the fight for you, pretty much. And as you increase guns, it takes down things like reliability, engine. I'm not too interested in the engine, because we're right here. We're close to Germany. And what we're going to be doing is, after this is complete, we're just going to start doing this, and it's going to go to the Kriegsmarine. So this will complete, and then it will immediately start building my other battleship right there. Just to show you what else we're doing. I need that rubber to start up my air industry. I mean, it's it's just killing me right now. A little behind on support equipment. That should catch up. And the infantry equipment. I'm building these MP divisions. You can see the division that I made. I took out the support class and... Um, I just duplicated the Chanel division. You basically want them to use up as much, as little equipment as possible because all they're going to be doing is standing there. Okay, they didn't make it across, but that's okay. Set up student in a line here. Let's have him go right there. Take these guys out. I'm, I'm super worried after the last two videos that they're not going to make it across. You can just use an unassigned division there. So we're going to go. This guy has like nothing in front of him, dude. It's crazy. Okay. This guy pretty healthy. Oh, okay. I still have these guys fighting. Perfect. This guy's healthy enough. Get back in there. Yeah, board the task. Get in there. They only have 83. They lost a few more. Hopefully they didn't come back up here into the channel. So it looks like they're going to be tied up. Okay, these need to get on, on the line. Why is there only 23? Let's 
see how the air is going. Okay, we have a few. We can move these across. I'm just going to have them do air superiority. I'm going to come right up. And then I don't really care about the channel anymore. You guys didn't think it was possible, did you? Difficult. Once I figured out what was happening with the fleets and where my mistakes were, and that's why I posted the video videos basically so that you could... That's how you learn. You learn from mistakes, so... You can see all the mistakes that I made. Not do the same yourself. So what typically happens is the star, their capital, you have to get to capital three times. Typically you get to London and then it moves to Liverpool and then Liverpool moves to Glasgow. So what I'm doing is bypassing a lot of areas just to kind of get it over with. There we go. Okay. This is going to be very interesting to you guys. We get their equipment. So this is going to top me off, and this is a medium tank. I'm not even using medium tanks. So what we did here is we just defeated the allies. So this is the crux of the whole series. If you're able to come over, defeat the allies, 1937, we're going to be able to turn over here and take out the USSR piecemeal. And then after we do that, we're going to come over and take out Canada. It looks like we're able to get these territories right here. I'll tell you from experience, they're completely useless. So there's actually an invisible ring uh, that circles the, the map. And anything above this ring has a low supply zone, we'll call it. So basically, if you try to invade from here, you're going to have no supply. You're not going to go anywhere. It's going to take you forever, just to let you know. So I'm looking at it. I might take it, but I'm going to take that late, very late. And that'll help out with supply because there are... It would be good to have like this island or something right there. What I'm most interested in is Free France because it connects with Germany, you know, Belgium, Netherlands. And the only reason why we have to go through this whole thing is because I have um, Italy and Hungary here who helped me with the battle so they get to be in the peace conference. Um, I don't think that there's any way to do this without bringing Italy in. I think you probably could do it, but it would be very difficult. This was already very difficult because it, what you need Italy for is to get um, the, the English Navy tied up right here like they did. So I don't know if I would have been as successful if I didn't have Italy. So we're going to come through here. And the thing that I hate about this is... What Italy is going to do is come in and start cutting up England. I hate it. Drives me crazy. Okay, so I got all England this time. Now, in past videos, I made mistakes of making a war down here in Yugoslavia, and then Czechoslovakia comes into the war. Um, when this is when I've gotten this far before, what has happened is I get too concentrated in trying to take uh, states down here. And then Italy comes over and, and cuts up uh, England a little bit. And they take some of those. So that's super annoying during this peace conference. But since I didn't declare war, I am going to declare war against them next, by the way. And this is going to go really good for us. Because I'm going to be able to take my armies over there and, and have a really good offensive line. 
These are really important. I take that, that's 72 um, aluminum. So that's for my airplane industry. So now you'll no longer need aluminum. It looks like there's some oil down here. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. And then snapping up some of these islands here is going to be really important because they have ports that you can invade the United States with. Well, let's see what else. There's all these little ancillary islands. But what I'm looking for is the one with the ones with the resources. Like this one. That's crazy. Okay. And then Free France. Okay. That was probably the limit of what I can do here. I want this rubber though. So I'm going to take it. All right. Then as you can see, what's going to happen is Italy will get some territories. Let's see, did they take this? No. Take those two. This tiny little island. So we can get some oil if I take that. And then the cobalt and the tungsten from there would be useful. I guess I'll take the rest of the states. Hmm. Actually, I won't. Get some more oil right there. <laughs> they took Alexandria. They can have it. It's fine. I got the two oil that I wanted. Oh, there's rubber down here. I didn't even see this. This is great. My airplane industry is going to do awesome after this. Well, they're not really contiguous, but I'll harvest the resources all the same. It's okay. Um, they can take the Middle East. It looks like this is... Yeah, I just took that. Is there any other place with resources? This little place off India. We're going to have rubber for days. Now I regret uh, doing the Madagascar um, little side mission there. Huh, I could take all these islands. I don't know what the point of it is, though. Try to take all these islands in the Caribbean. Hope that it helps out my supply when I come over. I'm going to pass one turn just so I can finish this up real quick. Alright. Take the rest of Vietnam and Cambodia. Maybe I can just... This is a little trick. You can create satellites to make this go faster. Or I can like take all the states there. That makes it go a little faster. Alright, where else? Where else in the world? Take that one. So we're gonna have a lot of resources after this. I don't know where else. I think it's just all these little islands. Okay, let's get this over with. We can just satellite the rest of them, I guess. Egypt. If I satellite that, British Malaysia. Huh. 
British Raj? Am I able to do that? Do they come into the Axis? Let's see what I just did. Okay, so I instituted my own government over here. And they are in the Axis. That's crazy. Can request forces from them. I wonder if they'll give me forces. They have no divisions, so they can't do that. Okay, so we did it. This is the first May 1937. So the leadership purges in Russia haven't even occurred yet, I don't think. But they should occur here pretty soon. Um, okay, so we didn't get the fleets from Britain, but that's... They're going to be able to help us out because they're inside of our um, subjects or whatever it's called. They're inside of our faction. So what I'm going to do in between videos here is gather up all the forces that are in Great Britain. I no longer need to have these um, anti-partisan forces here in northern France because this is all incorporated now. That's the beauty of doing it this way. We're going to line up here and we're going to declare war against uh, the communists as soon as possible. This I might even start fabricating like right away because I need this these to, to disappear pretty fast so that I can line up here against Ru uh, Russia and then that, that'll be a whole nother video. Alright, thanks for watching guys and we did it. We finally did it. See ya.